Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to a bonus episode of Hops Geek News, a podcast where we talk about comic books, movies, TV shows, and these bonus episodes right now are documenting my journey through the one and the only Supernatural. We are going to talk about the up, road so yeah, far. I've watched up through episode 16 of season one, and so we're going to talk about it. And if you want to support us in any way, find our social media accounts, Hops Geek News, drop a rating review any of that stuff subscribe to us on any podcasting platform by the same name and if you want to support the show patreon.com slash hops geek news is where you can find us with that said i'm matt this is lauren lauren is a supernatural expert i am just but a padawan in this adventure and yeah so let's let's chat some supernatural i've one thing i've noticed is one of my complaints early on was hey they have all of these badges all of this stuff but they never changed into outfits. And what did I tell you? You did. You just said, everybody was like, just wait, just wait, just wait. Well, guess what? I know, okay? <laughs> I know. I was just out there. I was trying to be funny, but they've uh, started to wear different outfits and different costumes and all of that. We take this have... fandom very seriously. I respect it. They show up as pastors in one episode, which that episode is probably my least favorite episode of the series so far. The, you know, watch uh... the outtakes of that. So well, here's yeah. a fun fact real quick. They... um they're always hot and they're always in multiple layers. So whenever they can, they ask for whatever's under their jackets to be sleeveless. So under their coats, they had on sleeveless uh, priest uniforms. So there's an outtake where they knock on the door and they're both wearing the sleeveless priest uniforms <laughs> and they look like strippers. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, you didn't realize I texted you the one, the kid, Max, he's mm -hmm. Krampus in Violent Night. He was in Go uh, Goosebumps, and so he's he's been in a lot of CW shows. But yeah, I recognized him. I was like, wow, this dude. Oh, he's an like Arrow that. too. Yeah, so he's in a lot of CW shows, and he showed up in this one, which is funny. He's he's hey, good on you. Show up in all these shows, but I didn't like that episode. I just I wasn't a fan. And a did you know it was Aunt Zelda from Sabrina the Teenage Witch was the mom? Oh, that I did know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know yeah. that one. That was Clarissa explains it all. The Teenage Witch. Uh, yes, that was that was yes that one. Um, but yeah, before we go too far into the episodes, uh, I did do a little bit of polls or I did a couple polls. I asked people on Instagram, what's your favorite episode? Um, uh, my aunt, <laughs> she said all of it and Dean, um, and then <laughs> Stacy said the French mistake, which the French mistake, I believe is season six. That's going to be a two. fun one. That is a common, uh, well-known favorite. Okay. And when we, when you get to there, we can do some of the fun facts too, because the French mistake, I believe it's like a reference to blazing saddles or something. I'll have to look into that. Um, and then Patrick, who is a Hops News Patreon, said the first time they meet the trickster, which oh. is season two. But their thing with Supernatural is everything is more means, than it seems. But okay. You don't know what season two means? The trickster. What's that? Oh. You don't know who the trickster is? Uh, okay. Dark and Flash? No. The trickster? Is it the girl? No. Okay, then I don't know who the trickster is yet. You don't know who the trickster is? I feel like once you get to the trickster, you're going to be like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I don't know who the trickster is yet. Nope. Sure but don't. then you're going to learn more about him. He's in some of the best episodes. Oh, okay. Uh, so Mark Shepard, because um, we were talking about him a little bit last week, I actually got to see him in uh, Utah when we were together, but I went by myself. I think you were hugging the guy from Blue's Clues at the time. Steve, and man, uh, what's respect? It's Steve. One of the things I wanted to talk about, because you were so surprised at the outpouring of basically love and support you got and multiple people telling you to just keep watching. And whenever people post about Supernatural, a lot of times they use the hashtag SPN family and they refer to it as Supernatural family. And Mark Shepard actually explained why they coined that term when I was at Salt Lake Con this past September. And he said, when you say like you're a fanatic or a fan, like that comes from the word fanatic, which is like a person filled with excessive and single-minded zeal, especially for an extreme religious or political cause. And they felt like it was like an insult. So they, the actors actually coined the term supernatural family. Oh, that's pretty, that's a fun little fact. Okay. I like that. It is. And then he showed a picture of him making out with somebody else on the show that he still has on his phone. I cannot wait for you to meet Mark Checkbird, but he doesn't show up till I think five. Oh, it's that far into it. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I mean, I yeah, a lot of these characters, long, long even thinking 
looking back, it's like, wow, Rowena doesn't show up to like, I don't know, 11 or something. And like some of these characters that you fall in love with don't even show up for seasons, which is insane. I mean, the fact that they had three seasons without Castiel. So Jessica's tombstone in episode two at the very beginning when Sam has that nightmare, it says her birthday is January 24th. That is also Dean's birthday. That is also the date of the surveillance tape of Becca in The Boys. That is also the date on the tape of Soldier Boy getting experimented on by the Russians in The Boys. Because January 24th is Kripke's birthday. So he uses his wife's birthday every chance he can get, apparently. Oh, I was like, what's the significance of January 24th? What, like, what am I missing? But that makes sense. <laughs> It's just okay. his wife's birthday. All right. Uh, and the picture on the tombstone of the act of Jessica is the same picture in the newspaper article when she shows up in Smallville pretending to be Kara. She thinks she's Kara and she's not. And they find a newspaper article. And I was like, I know that picture because it's on her tombstone. And did you know she was in a TV made movie, Wonder Woman in 2011? We had, there was a TV made Wonder Woman movie in 2011? It got like 4.2 out of 10 on IMDb. But yeah, I mean, that she's, it, she's Wonder it. Woman. Oh. But still, I didn't I know. I had no idea. Yeah, I was surprised when I Googled her. Uh, so your bugs video, you posted on TikTok a video about the bugs and someone actually commented it wasn't the worst rated. And they actually, uh, if you want to go to this person's TikTok, it's at the Peyton Avery, the P-A-Y-T-O-N-A-V-E-R-Y. And they actually looked up the episodes on IMDb and did their own rating. And they figured out which one was the best and which one was the worst. So- the 10th worst was man's best friend with benefits. This is so awkward. When you get there, you will feel awkward. Okay. Freaks and geeks. Um, I'm indifferent on that one. I didn't think it was terrible. Then you have hashtag thin man. I like that. Have you met the ghost facers yet? No, I don't think so. Okay. You should be meeting them soon. I look forward to hearing your opinion on them. Okay. Some people hate them. I love them. They randomly show up a couple of times. Then we have raising hell. Uh, in raising hell, there's actually an outtake where, um, Castiel accidentally calls Sam Dean and Jared Padalecki's name was Dean on Gilmore Girls. And so he's like, that hasn't been my name in, in over 10 years. That was Gilmore Girls. And so he just plays with that. Then Route 66 was one of them. Oh, I remember that well, one. Route 66 yeah. was a low, was it? That was a racist truck, right? Yeah. <laughs> that one had a good twist though. Oh, it was, I'm sorry. It was just funny. I'll let you go more into that though, yeah. Uh, then there was Paint It Black. That had to do with nuns. I didn't hate that one. Paper Moon. That wasn't bad. Uh, I'll just go through these quick. Drag Me Away From You, Dark Dynasty, Bitten, Bugs. There's Something About Mary, and then Carry On the Finale. And then the worst one is Bloodlines. So Bloodlines was supposed to be a pilot to a spinoff. And because it was the worst rated, it didn't happen. I enjoyed this episode. I was very surprised to see this was the worst rated. However, uh, most of these ratings were like 1800 to 4800 reviews and the finale had over 15,000 reviews and it was the second worst rated it didn't wow so people did not like the ending of the show oh i, I told you remember when it ended i told you i didn't like it that's tough but i went back and restarted it and it made me feel better part of i, I think it had to do with covid and part of it i don't know what the fuck it had to do that's so those are the top 10 looking at these the ones that are rated the worst for the most part seem to be the episodes where they're not the main characters well, that makes sense so i don't know how much that plays into it like the bloodlines wasn't really about the brothers they were part of the story but the story was about these other characters who they were hoping were going to be they always try to backdoor spinoffs into successful shows and it never works. Like Scrubs tried to do that, didn't work out. This tried worked to with do it. Frasier. I mean, that show went on for eleven years after Cheers. Oh, that's a spinoff. Frasier's a spinoff. Yeah, Frasier was a character on Cheers. Really? That I may be the only that. show it ever worked with. I though. honestly never knew that. Okay, all right. You learned something. Yeah, he was still knew? married to Lilith on Cheers. Huh. Yeah, I did, didn't know that at all. That's cool. Well, let's. Uh, so f I. I'm liking it. Like I said, I didn't like Nightmare. I just, it just was such a weak episode. So I'm surprised to see that that's not even a low rated episode somehow because that one was trash. Bugs. Wasn't so we left bad. you with Hookman. What'd you think of Hookman? Hookman wasn't bad. Uh, it was interesting. I, it was you know, like urban legendy. Yeah, it was very urban legendy. That one wasn't bad. I thought that the. I had the guy from Frasier. Look at that. Oh, did it? I, I <laughs> it was know. the pastor There's guy showing up all over the place. And uh, I thought the one about the people who were hunting them wasn't a bad episode at all. 
And it's creepy. It was creepy. Well, it's like Hills Have Eyes type stuff. And uh, my wife, she didn't enjoy that episode at all. She's like, this isn't supernatural. And I was like, no, but humans are creepy too. So I was listening to a podcast today with two of the characters who you haven't met either of them yet that do a then and now podcast. And somebody actually recommended you watch it. And I was like, no, he can't watch that yet because even the intro has spoilers. Mm. But they did say that that episode is one out of six episodes where all the villains are not supernatural. Oh, so there's only six episodes. To- okay, interesting. That's good to know. But it was a good episode, I think, because people are creepy too. I mean, it was very backwoods and this is based off of a real life family known as the Bender family, um, the known as the Bloody Benders. They were a family of serial killers who lived and operated in Labette County, Kansas, from May of 1871 to December of 1872, back when you can get away with good old fashioned murder. The family consisted of John Bender, his wife Elvira, and their son John Jr., and daughter Kate. While popular retelling of the story holds that John Jr. and Kate were siblings, contemporary newspapers reported that several of the Bender's neighbors had stated that they were claimed to be married, roll tied, possibly in a common law marriage. While there is no definitive number, estimates report that the Benders killed at least a dozen travelers before their crimes were discovered. The fate of the family remains unknown, while theories ranging from a lynching of the family to a successful escape. Much folklore and legend surrounds them, making it difficult to separate fact from fiction. Now, this has two brothers, a daughter, and the dad. Dad, poor dental work. The daughter, the girl who played the daughter, she acts her butt off in this. She is yeah. like, acting for an Oscar. I swear to God, she was all about and creepy. And Dean's even like, man, humans, like ghosts, I can predict. No, he was or, demons you know, I get. Yeah, demons I get humans like unpredictable basically and he's right i agree with him there humans are unpredictable i'd rather fight a demon than people but i like that episode a lot scarecrow was probably my favorite episode that was episode 11 uh it's about you know broken they're take sacrificing one man one woman to the pagan god of apples or whatever the frick it was it wasn't apples (laughs) this god you know is the reason behind their apple orchard being successful thus fueling the town so anybody who comes into the town, they send them down this road. They cut their brake lines. They whatever fatten it may be. them up. Yeah, they fatten that them up part, I hate that. And, oh, that is kind of like, oh, glutton. Like, they fatten them up, basically, and then they're running through this apple orchard, and there's like this Jeepers Creepers type scarecrow god that chases them down and kills people, and apparently they become part of their his body because the tattoo. Tattoo. Yeah. And so that episode was creepy. First of all, scarecrows can be really creepy. Second of all, I love apple pie and orchards. So, like, why you got to ruin stuff like that for me? But oh, well, pie is a running thing throughout the entire series of Supernatural. So, I think, I think somebody pie. even said that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he ends up like falling in love with it more. I feel like, like, it becomes more of a thing. Gotcha. And I think somebody even commented on the TikTok, like, welcome, have some pie or something. They did. Yes. I love pie. I'm all about it. So, I like that one. And then the, the late, last episode I saw, their dad returns and that's the one where we find out that girl i forget her name meg 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 she, masters yeah so she was actually in scarecrow and mm-hmm. sam met her at the bus stop and at the end of that episode you see her cut the dude's throat talking into the bloody cup i don't know who she's talking to yet you do but i don't and then in this episode she lures them to trap them and to get the dad to come out so the shadow ghost monster things can kill them and you have a heartfelt reunion. You're like, dang, they're finally all together. Dad's like, I'm sorry. Oh, let's hug. And then they have to go their separate ways. And we're not ready to. He's hot on the tail of what killed their mom. But they aren't allowed to go with him. He's got to do their stuff. They still have side quests to complete to up their their XP and stuff like that before they can take on the final boss of the season. And she's not dead. She, they, she gets pushed out a window and she's not dead, obviously. And then they go off and do their own thing. So that's the last episode I saw. And uh, I like that episode. Clever ghosts, shadow monsters was a cool twist. What do you think of home? Which one is when home? they go back to their home and their oh, home's a ghost? Yeah, the the goat. That one was a good episode. I didn't have any beef with that. They they go back to their childhood home. Yeah, a nice looking neighborhood. And there's a poltergeist in there. And that that, that poor lady, like that house is just. T- Oh my gosh, I know. Cursed. Her kid gets cursed. cursed. How creepy though is the monkey, the ding, 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 when the guy got his hand in the the thing. And the kid put himself in the fridge. Like, that was tough. 
Oh, he's a juice junkie. I know. Like, yeah. He just needs some, like he needed his fix, man. So he ends up in the fridge. Yeah. No, that that was a decent episode. The only one I really haven't liked so far would definitely be Nightmare. Uh, mm-hmm. Just that's the only one I haven't liked. All of them. Some more memorable than others, of course. But uh, overall, it's it's moving along. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm sure by the time we do the next one, I'll probably be close to the on the season finale, if not wrapped up the season one to right. kind of talk about season one as a whole with maybe some special guests. But yeah, you're you're finding out a lot. It's picking up. You're getting some story. Go ahead. Go- Ghost Facers is in the next episode. Oh, are they? Okay. Well, there we yeah. go. I'll find out next time. I, I, you kind of see some of their, their pool things and, and bars. And so all that's making sense. I don't have beef with all that. I just was messing around. Everybody got real, like it's a show about <laughs> supernatural things. And that's your problem. Like, no, I mean, I'm just messing around. I'm just trying to be goofy. That's all it was. But I feel like supernatural really does explain or make fun of all of the TV tropes that you're genuinely supposed to ignore. Oh, yeah. It just takes them literally years for to do some of it. And I feel like people who have seen all 15 seasons, they're like, Hey, yeah, that's explained. Like jo- I might've said this last week, Josh made a comment about like, you can't pick a lock that fast. And I'm like, Oh, don't no. worry. They explain that. That <laughs> literally gets explained of, at some point. Um, but did you notice and stuff all the time? It's kind of funny. Yeah. Did you notice in home when Mary apologized to Sam? I might have forgotten what happened. No. So, when she comes and she looks like human and Sam's oh, like, I know who she is. That's mom. Yeah. That's yeah, mom. Yeah. And she actually tells Sam she's sorry. Yes. Yeah. So everyone's apologizing to Sam. Everyone's well, you her. find out later why. Okay. Well, yes, I do remember that. She shows up to, and that she's the fire ghost. And then she turns back to herself and scares off the, the poltergeist and defeats the poltergeist, sacrifices herself, all that kind of stuff. So I thought she was saying I sorry because she just poofed and disappeared, but no. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Right on. Good Missouri's. Show. I love her voice. She's so calming. And I love that when she yells at Dean, get your feet off the table. It's hilarious. Why well, I don't know any of that yet, but. Well, no, oh. when she, he oh, goes oh, to put oh, his oh, feet oh, up oh, on the oh, table oh, and Missouri's yeah, like, yeah, and he's yeah. like, oh. I, yes, I'm, I'm bad with names. Yes. She's she, you were thinking about it in. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I pick it up now. Uh, it takes me a minute, but you know, I like everybody. I don't have a character that I'm like, man, this guy sucks. I also don't have a Sam or Dean favorite. I know somebody asked that. I still don't have a favorite. I like them both. And it's fun little time capsule because you're looking into 2005 slash six and you're just like, oh, I remember those days so much. Like the attire, the haircuts, the low rise jeans, all of that stuff. And so flip phones. Fun. Yeah, the flip phones. The little well, and the fact that they're printing stuff and going to the library to do research. Oh, yeah. And I mean, they're literally still looking at newspapers too. The one thing I will say is, they do consistently use maps. And I think part of that is because um, you never see them on a highway. So I think the one thing they do is they, they take back and that may just be like for filming purposes, but they take back roads and I'm assuming that's to stay off the radar as much as possible. So, I mean, you even see in much later seasons when we have MapQuest and we have Apple, you know, maps that they're still mapping things out. Got you. I mean, it's smart. It's a way to keep, because Dean's dead to according to the world. So, I mean, they got They got to throw people off their trail somehow, I think. Yeah, they can't do it with a very loud yeah. cast cuzzler. All the technology. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun kind of documenting this. It's something fun for me, too. I think that's what also gets me into the show even more is like I'm anytime somebody watches something for the first time that you and you've watched it, you love to be like, oh, this, that. And so like I'm on the other side because how many things have I read, watched? And so I've been like, Lauren, you have to watch this. You have to do this. And getting to see you go through, but now it's the yeah. opposite. So now I'm going through this journey and you're like, <laughs> now I can be proud of you. But yeah. that's even like a scene from years later. I can't even feel what I feel. See what I see. <gasps> I should do a TikTok with that. It's great. It's great. But yeah, follow along, everybody. That's kind of our wrap up so far. Next week, I like I said, we'll have a probably a bonus where we wrap up the season one and so keep an eye out for that as always go ahead subscribe all that stuff lauren do you have any final thoughts uh oh my beer so i opened a dissolver beer it's doomed in the juicy and it's got a little um evil demon on it so okay. it seemed fitting it's oh, delicious i respect cheers i miss beer. that's all i got i'm have beer soon in a couple more weeks but yeah catch us uh our episode will be coming out with frank the martin frank the martin frank the writer <laughs> frank martin uh, excellent guy talking about his comic books, P1 Nokio. So check that. Check out our 
past episodes, I will be on Metalcore Nerds this week talking about my anticipated upcoming TV shows for 2023. Uh, we've done our anticipated 2023. We've done our favorites of 2022. So check all that stuff out. We're going to be getting ready to do a phase five and six kind of preview what we thought of phase four here as well soon. So a lot of good things coming down the pipe and these bonus episodes of Supernatural. So follow along. If there's anything you want to see from us, let us know. Follow us, shoot shoot out your, your thoughts, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.